Hello and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I show you the highlights of our trip to Iceland, the Blue Lagoon, the South Coast, and Reykjavik. I hope you enjoy. To start off our trip in Iceland, we actually went straight from the airport and took a shuttle to the Blue Lagoon. I highly recommend this as it is on the way to Reykjavik and the perfect way to unwind after a long flight. We already had our reservation booked well in advance as I would recommend the slots sell out quick for the Blue Lagoon. So once we went, we got the premium package and were able to bypass most of the line. This is one of the world's wonders and I understand why. The water is bluer than you can imagine and that's because of the silica and this is all geothermal activity. So this is mother nature pushing this stuff up. There's so many saunas and steam rooms and it's just the perfect relaxation. Because we did the premium package, we were able to do both the silica mask as well as the algae mask. I highly recommend trying the algae mask. Such um, a creep. <laughs> <laughs> you look like the Joker. There is a reason why it is a world wonder. I would recommend it to anyone to experience. <laughs> After we did all of the saunas and steam rooms and all that good jazz, we were hungry. So we actually ate on site at the restaurant here at the Blue Lagoon. It is pretty pricey, which you'll see from the menu that I showed. Um, but it's not really that much more pricey than the rest of Iceland, to be honest. And the food was good. So I would say that if you haven't eaten this definitely would be a good recommendation and the view's amazing. That's my dessert, not yours. But it looks a lot smaller than I thought. No, 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 no. How'd you enjoy the Blue Lagoon? Yes. I like it. <laughs> it was nice. I like being able to come out the rough air, airplane riding. Just come here and chill out. After we left the Blue Lagoon, we caught our return shuttle to our hotel which was super convenient and we checked in and our hotel we booked this through TripAdvisor and got a good deal. Enjoy your day so far. Yay! <laughs> I'm glad you did. Here I'm just showing you what the hotel looks like. This was for $100 a night which may not seem like that great of a deal but for Iceland this was a crazy good deal because it can get pretty expensive and this was perfect for a party of two plus it included spa usage and complimentary breakfast every day. Okay so for our second day in Iceland we decided to do a guided tour of the south coast. I would highly recommend this as well. The south coast is gorgeous. Oh, I can't wait for you to see this footage. Our first stop was one of the more famous waterfalls and the power and the beauty of mother nature. I'm telling you, it never ceases to amaze me. It was the perfect first stop. And hopefully you're lucky like we were where we went on a day that was so sunny. We were able to capture so many rainbows. Seeing the double rainbows up close in real life, like that really made my trip. I loved it, loved every second of it. The next stop was actually my favorite stop. It literally made me feel like I was on the set of Game of Thrones. This is something I've never seen despite the danger and all the other stuff and the powerful winds. This was my favorite spot. The reason why this is a black sanded beach, it's actually lava rocks. It's not sand, it's lava rocks. And the erosion, all of this is mother nature that created it. It's flabbergasting when you look at it as to how this was mother nature made. That's me. That was me trying to talk, but as you can hear, the wind was so strong, you couldn't hear a word that I was saying. There are definitely so many photo ops at this site. If you're into photography, you will have a field day. That was definitely the most unique beach that I've ever been on and one of the most beautiful beaches in the world. No, seriously, it's on the list for one of the most beautiful beaches in the world. Um, but next, we were off to check out some glaciers and this would look so different if you come in the winter time. Sometimes it's hard to tell you so. Came 
behind me back there is one of the glaciers and all around you can look at the scenery all the way through. After exploring the glaciers and a little bit more of greenery, we actually went to another waterfall, which was actually my favorite waterfall that we saw because you can go behind the waterfall. That is an experience that I feel out tops the first waterfall by far. If you only have time to see one of the waterfalls, I feel this is the one that you should see. The climb up is super adventurous and you do need a raincoat because you're definitely going to get soaked, but it's so worth it to take in the views, the rainbows, and just the sheer power. I'll stop talking so you can hear a little bit of what we were experiencing. And there's a rainbow. That is definitely something. <laughs> Okay, be careful. It's called must, but must is uh, and was the first non-alcoholic <coughs> drink that was created in Iceland. So this was uh, around the war. All right, so now we just left our hotel and we're gonna head out to the church and hopefully the harbor. And also we heard of this place called Prikid. Hope I'm saying that right. That's pretty good. And we're here at the Haba area. You having fun there? So this was actually our third day in Iceland and we decided to explore the city of Reykjavik. I had a whole list of random things I wanted to get checked off. So I hope you enjoy this. Kopla is by the hole. So we just walked past. Harpa, which is the concert hall that you can see behind me all the way up yonder. There are definitely so many sights to see. I would definitely say to go across the harbor and also to support a local black business. This is Cafe Haiti. Um, the owner, she is Haitian. The food is delicious as far as at least the cafe treats that we tried and the hot cocoa is just like my mama would have made it. Next up, I really wanted to try an Icelandic dog. Whatever they put on it. Yes. This is poor. Tastes just like a regular hot dog. Okay, so maybe that didn't live up to my expectations, but Dwayne liked it and confirmed it was lamb. <laughs> Next, we visited another landmark, the tallest church in Iceland. And we just went to Monis, which is one of the popular, I guess, grocery stores. Just got some snacks. Um, I guess one of the beer things that we had on the... Um, that we had on the trip. All right, so we're back at the hotel now. We just came from the store to get like snacks, but most importantly to get this non-alcoholic beer. Correct. But we got this when we went on the South Coast tour. Our tour guide um, gave us some of this um, and she gave us the whole history about it. It's a non-alcoholic beer 
and it's amazing so I was like oh we gotta go to that bonus and get get some um, but yeah but now we're gonna go ahead and probably go back to the spa at our hotel our hotel is like a really nice spa that's part of our stay um, and really it's just like saunas and it's like hot baths indoor outdoor gym all that other stuff I'm probably not working out Dwayne is more than likely but I'm probably just gonna relax Iceland has been everything I could have hoped for and more like I expected all of the adventure and beautiful views but I didn't expect it to be as relaxing as it has been this was truly a vacation and also the views and the scenic route that we took there excuse me a lot of this stuff it's like hard to describe like it's even more gorgeous than like what I saw on pictures and videos and stuff like in person to take that all in and just mother nature it's crazy um but I'm excited um to just have this experience and be able to come back rejuvenated and I feel very blessed and very thankful I don't take any of this for granted um but yeah um I would say actually random what I didn't expect my favorite thing about Iceland I think is the water not just because it's amazing to drink but the fact that you literally can drink out your faucet and it's like filtered for you that's crazy like naturally just how all of this works is so like dope even when I shower like I feel like you, it's not the water it's just not hard it's like drinkable water that you're showering with and washing your hair with and it's just freaking flabbergasting like I'm like wow um so that was strangely my favorite part of this whole experience. All right, I'm gonna stop yapping, I talk a lot. Hey, right, bye. This is the gym and spa that I was talking about at our hotel. I think most hotels at least have hot baths. Don't quote me on that, but this hotel at least did. Um, and I just loved this area. We literally visited every day we were here and we were here four days. They also have where you can pay for extra if you want to get a massage. We didn't do that. Um, we just took advantage of the free amenities and we pretty much would go into the hot baths and then go into the sauna and rotate and relax throughout the day. Uh, so yeah, this was one of my favorite parts of the vacation and why everything was just so relaxing. We definitely capitalized on our four-day stay. I would highly recommend Iceland if it's not already on your vacation list or your countries to visit. The relaxation, the natural wonders, the hot baths, the glaciers, the waterfalls. I've never seen anything like it and I definitely, definitely feel like it's something that everyone should experience. If you're looking for adventure and relaxation, this is the perfect spot. Okay, so we're leaving Iceland now, mm. but it was a great, great stay. Um, and we're actually about to take a shuttle. We just checked out of our hotel, um, but we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.